Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here is Van Amsen. Today we are going to solve another lead code problem, palindrome number. This is an easy problem and has been asked by many companies in their coding interview. Uh, so let's first understand the problem statement. We are given an integer x and our task is to return true if x is palindrome and false otherwise. And uh, here is an interesting part in the problem uh, follow-up uh, section. Uh, it say, could you solve it without converting the integer to a string? Uh, that's a great optimization challenge. And uh, we can also look at some examples. So for example, uh, x is 121. It's true because it's palindrome and uh, from both sides is uh, 121 from left to right and from right to left. We have also uh, input minus uh, 121 as example number two, and it's uh, false. So it's not a palindrome because it's reads uh, minus one to one from left to right. And from other side, it's one to one minus. Also, we have uh, case number three. So it's x equal 10 and reads zero one from right to left. So it's not a, a palindrome. And uh, yeah, so we have already uh, defined class uh, and uh, function is a palindrome initiated by uh, lead code team. So first we need to check if it's negative or uh, not. So negative number are not palindromes. If x less than zero, return false int num digits zero int temp equals zero x. So now we need to count number of digits, determine the number of digits in x while temp greater than zero temp divided without remaining by 10 and num digits increment. So then we have int left as x and right as zero and we need to construct both numbers from left and right. Compare digits from left and right and for int e to num digits divided by two right times 10 plus left modulo 10 and left divided without remainder by 10. If the number of digits is odd, ignore the middle digit. And if num digits modulo two not equal zero, so left divided by 10, so we trim one more number and check if left and right halves equals return left right equals. So yeah, so uh, we have like uh, both parts. So most important we check uh, at the beginning if this is negative or not then we need to get uh, how many digits this number have. We have also temp uh, value uh, because they are initiated as int. We uh, divide by 10. So uh, in this case, uh, we will get a number of uh, digits. So for example, for 121, we will have uh, num digits equals three at the end of this loop, then we initiate left number and right number 
and we go to the half of digits. So for example, if we have three digits, we just go to one loop. So three divided by two is one and a half and uh, its integer is just one. So this loop will construct numbers from the right and uh, right times 10 will uh, place the number to the left side and uh, increase it moving all digits to the left. And also this part will get us uh, a modulo and place on the right side of the uh, number right. And this uh, left number will be just uh, getting rid of uh, last number from the right side. So we have, will have like uh, 121, then uh, 1, 2, uh, counting from the uh, left, uh, and then just uh, 1. So, yeah. And because, uh, for example, this loop for uh, number digits 3 is executed only once, so we need to also uh, get rid of the left number one more time. So in this case, it's uh, digits number is also, for example, as three. And yeah, and then uh, if both numbers constructed from the left and right are equal, uh, it will return true in case they are equal and for false otherwise. So it's also good approach to compare those number rather than uh, getting one more new if and yeah, all test case passed and we submit for unseen cases. Hopefully it will pass as well. So yeah, our solution passed and uh, uh, we beat 37% and also with memory allocation 85%. So very good. And yeah, we solved this uh, uh, problem. So uh, our code uh, runs. Uh, so uh, as we can see, our function correctly identifies whether the number is a palindrome or not. And that's for today. Uh, we have just solved palindrome number problem uh, from LeetCode in C++. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing these problems uh, and you will get uh, more knowledge about how to solve it and more, more uh, data structure uh, will help, help you in uh, future coding. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give uh, it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Happy coding and we will see you in next video.